Millie on my wrist, I bust it down. King in my city, wear the crown. Got a check, need another now. I can never get enough. Yeah, that's right. I can never, I can never, I can never get enough. Billy, I've been watching you play football for 15 years, and when you meet somebody for the first time that you've been watching play for that long, you, you wonder certain things. And here's what I've always wondered about you. you. Knew who you were when you were a sophomore in high school. You were a huge deal. Go to Alabama, huge deal. Go to the NFL, seven Pro Bowls. How have you always handled the pressure of being a top level player at every level? Right, um, for me, um, handling the pressure, um, there is no pressure for myself, right? I haven't been doing it for so long, like you said, you've been watching me for 15 years. It's just opportunity. You know, you gotta take advantage of every opportunity that you have. And once you're ready and you know you can put the work in, there's no pressure on you to go out there and be able to perform and go out there and do things to help the team out. From Pop Warner, you know, I had to persuade my mom to let me play football. So we went, we went like 21 and 0, didn't lose a game, things like that. Played in middle school, high school. Like my whole thing is, I think at the end of the day is preparation, having yourself prepared and putting that pressure on yourself because nobody else can equal the pressure that you put on yourself. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's, it's easy for you to wake up day in and day out to go out there and perform. Cause I can never, I can never, I can right. never get uh. enough. So that's how you're so relaxed. Absolutely. When I watch you play, I just think relaxed. Yeah. And everybody's focused on you, and they always have been, and yet here you are. You just go do your thing. I, I just go do my thing. Um, like I said, just preparation is, is, is key. Get what you can get out of every day. Don't take a rep for granted, things like that, and then just give it your all. And you got to also, uh, football is the ultimate team sport. I'm not out here by myself. I believe in my teammates. So for me to go out there and do my job at a high level is not for me, it's for them. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, I don't want to let them down, more so let myself down. When was it in your life that you knew this could happen, that you could be this kind of player? For me, it's just, you know, one play at a time, one snap at a time, one day at a time. That's just how I live, that's how, that's how I play the game of football uh, each and every day. Tomorrow's not promised, so it's just like, like I say, I, th I just think it's no regrets. You know what I'm saying? Um, at the end of the day, don't take anything for granted because things can be taken away from you just like that. If you talk to a receiver at any level today, they want to talk to you about how they'd like to be Julio Jones. What's that like for you right now at this point in your life, knowing that kids back, middle school kids right now say, I want to be Julio Jones? It's very important, like, for me, you know, obviously to uh, uh, lead by example and do the right things, all the small things. And, but well, what I would tell a, you know, a young player coming up and things like that, yeah, you can take from my game, but be your own man. Because if you want to be me, you know, you'll be second. I, will, I want everybody to be the best version of themselves. You know, it's okay to take from other people's game and th different things like that, but you'll never be the best if you're trying to be me. You see what I'm saying? So like, that's what I will give them coming up because like, just the way I play the game, I just go out there and, and play to my strengths and work on all the weaknesses and, and what I would tell a young player too. If you have a weakness, if you're scared to do something, like, don't, don't be scared, right? You just gotta go out there and, and just do it and compete, whatever it is, if it's, you know, if it's blocking, if it's catching the ball, being aggressive to the ball, it's just like work on those little things that you are weak to and make it become a strength. Like we all have strengths, we all have weaknesses. You gotta attack them. You can't, you can't shy away from them because when they come, then you're nervous, then you don't know if you're gonna make that play and different things like that. What are you most proud of in your career so far? Just the ability, uh, longevity, right? And just put the love of the game. I still love the game, it's not like, I do it because I have to do it. I do it because I love it. And you know, everybody, some guys can play three years, four years and be done, nine years and be done. You know, I'm going into my 11th season and like for me, like I still love the game. So I think for me, I, the way I balance football in my life is that it's still important to me and I love it. It's not like I don't feel like it's a job for me that I have to come here and work. Finally. Are you surprised in any way that all of this has happened to you over the last 15 years? No, I'm not surprised at all. Like I said, there's no substitute for hard work and um, what you put in is what you're gonna get out of it. At the end of the day, it's just the longevity side of it. You're blessed to be able to play for this long and, and do it at a high level. 
but it's a lot of injuries in a lot of guys' careers and dreams and stuff like that. But I haven't been fortunate enough that I haven't had any those type of injuries and stuff like that. So um, I'm very appreciative of that and just the teammates I've had over the years, coaching staff and different things like that, that has allowed me to play this game for so long. What's the best compliment Julio Jones has gotten or Julio Jones gets? Probably um, being a great teammate. I would say that.